standing around here bagging out Generation Y and, and none of them are getting up to defend themselves. Are they that self-absorbed that they don't even know that we're talking about them? Do we even know who we're talking about? Generation Y seems to be like this, this urban myth. You talk to 20-somethings and they're like, oh yeah, Generation Y, they're all like demanding and incentive driven, you know, but, but I'm not like that, you know, how random. It's not random, you're an idiot. And that's hypocritical, really. And basically you're stating the bloody obvious. The thing I notice about Generation Y is that the studies and statistics have been coming out for years, but the age bracket always stays the same. I mean, Generation Y starts anywhere from 1978 to 1986, depending on how old the study you're reading is. It's just a term for people in their 20s. It's like sociologists thought of this name of, for something that had to come after Generation X, and now they're just afraid to let go of it. I mean, in 10 years' time, won't Generation Y be all buying houses? In 20 years' time, won't Generation Y all be masters of business? In 50 years' time, won't Generation Y just be eating cat food on toast because they don't have any superannuation? Generation Y, or people in their 20s, are just the epitome of the time that they grow up in. I mean, in the 1920s, the people dancing in the cabarets and clubs of Germany would have been in their 20s. In the 1960s, the people smoking pot and spreading sexual diseases would have been in their 20s. And so now, in a time that's information saturated and with an economy that's going gangbusters, we've got a bunch of decadent, arrogant technophiles. Are they annoying? Yes. Are they evil? Probably, but that's just the Western way. Are they a danger to the future? No. It's Generation Z that we have to worry about. All these eight-year-olds that have grown up having timeouts and talking about their feelings and have never been smacked. They scare the shit out of me.